Wow, let me show you guys. Uh, this is something you don't see every day. Check this out. Look at this. I don't know if, get, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but look at all this fog. Are we in San Francisco? Look at this. This is nuts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week in the life of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Today is January 6, 6, 2000. 19 and check us out You guys see so I think the doom and gloom of this morning's fog is going to be a Foreshadow of things to come this week because this week is the dreaded CES week the consumer electronic show an annual show which brings over 100, 200,000 people into the city. Check out the latest gasmo and get the latest gasmos and gizmos for the future. It's a great convention, but if you work in any type of service industry, especially the gaming industry, this is the absolute worst time to be in the industry because despite having 200,000 people in our fair city I would say 199,000 of them don't gamble as a result there are a lot of empty tables both blackjack in the pit and especially in the poker room so my expectations for this week are very very slim and very very low um, but I think we'll be okay Hopefully because of our promotion, so we'll have the local grinders in there try to get their hours. But as far as the tourists, there won't be too many. So I think this week's gonna be pushing a lot of small pots, a lot of chop pots, a lot of terrible hands, a lot of folding. Not laundry, but cards. <laughs> so this is a good chance for me to catch up on a few things eBay. Um, it's a good time to get get some hours in on my station free roll uh, challenge, and basically catch up on a lot of things that I need to when we're not busy. So, with that being said, let's get on to work and see how this week's gonna go. So the first day of CES week was actually pretty good. As far as money-wise, we were bit we were not busy, but we were steady. Um, but uh, I think we're gonna start seeing people com coming for CES starting tomorrow. I saw at one point in the lobby, I saw a lot of people walking in with like Brooks Brothers shirts, <laughs> not the gambling type. Um, but today was kind of a uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A normal, a normal C day, a normal C, a normal C. Is that a word? A normal C. I haven't looked that up in the dictionary. But it was just uh, a lot of things happened in our poker room that uh, say, shall we say, uh, was out of the norm. Just, I don't want to go into detail, but it was just, it was just weird. It felt like uh, I was dealing in the Twilight Zone. But it is what it is. Anyways. I'm gonna head home. The wife is cooking chili. I've been craving chili. I want chili. And uh, I got a couple of things I sold on eBay, so I'm gonna pack that. 
and then uh, work on the vlog and then work on the other vlog that I'm trying, the um, station's free roll vlog. Hopefully I can finish that tonight and get, get it released tonight. Uh, yeah, so I, it's a busy, busy, busy night ahead of me, but it's for things that I want to do. So uh, here I am, packed up the stuff that I sold this weekend. Pretty good weekend, I must say. Pretty happy with these sales. One of the things I gotta do more for 2019 is work harder on this. Because this is one of the reasons it's gonna get me my time back. Anyways, I'm gonna end Monday here in my laundry room slash eBay room. <sighs> As we move on to the other day. Anyways, thank you for watching. Come back here in a few seconds as we're going to Monday in the life of your boy, Randy Bizzle, as we continue the dreaded CES week here on the blog. Welcome, everybody, to another day in the life of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. It is Monday, January 7th, 2019. It's a gloomy another day here in Vegas. Gloomy for more than one reasons. One of the reasons, the weather, of course, and the second reason why we're at day two of CES week. <sighs> Anyways, uh, I spent most of the morning editing last week's vlog. I was also working on my station's free roll vlog. That's gonna be up. Once again, check it out on my other channel. It's called Mr. Poker Dealer Guy for the adventures and journal of that. But now, it's time to go to work. You miss Poker Dealer Guy. But first, I got some packages I gotta drop off. See, I wasn't kidding about it being gloomy. Where is the sun? This is Vegas. We're in the desert. It's supposed to be sunny 365 days a, a year, right? Where is it all at? So, before I go into work and be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy, I wanna show you guys something. Yes, as you saw, today is day number 4,995 days since I became a poker dealer. Incredible. 13 years I've been a dealer. And I'm approaching that milestone of 5,000. It's just crazy how my life has been since I became a dealer and how... Everything has changed for the better. And the life that I have is because of a deck of cards. Uh, I'm grateful for everything I have because of a deck of cards. I'm grateful for the life I have because of a deck of cards. You know, there are good, there are bad, there are ups, there are downs. There are good days and bad days. But the bottom line is being a dealer is giving me, afforded me the life that I have. Give me everything that I have right now, and um, I'm grateful. You know, sometimes I complain about it, sometimes I'm happy about it, sometimes I, the players drive me crazy, uh, sometimes the job drives me crazy, but, you know, when you think back and think of how it is, it's a lot more good than bad. When I get to 5,000 day as a poker dealer, I'm not going to celebrate. There's going to be no party. It's just going to be business as usual, but I guarantee you I'm going to reflect. Well, CES has officially arrived in Vegas. Because despite getting up to three games today, um, it just felt like they weren't very strong. I mean, all the games were generally pretty much shorthanded the entire time. And then we had, it was littered with a bunch of locals uh, that weren't playing any hands. And the games weren't that great money-wise for the players and especially for the dealers. We weren't making any money. So when I left here at 5 o'clock, uh, one game broke. So there's actually two games right now. But I got a feeling it's not either one. Not, neither one's going to last very long. And... That is the nutshell of CES. Today is probably gonna be the peak, the, the good day of CES week. 
I'm anticipating it to be very, very slow tomorrow and Wednesday, especially because those are the peak times of when CS is happening and it's going to suck really bad. But what can you do? That's the ups and downs of being a poker dealer here in Las Vegas. We have a bad convention in town for us, the people who work in the service industry. You just got to grim. You got to bear it. Make sure you save your money for days like this because not every day is going to be 200 all days and not every day is going to be working eight hours and grinding and making money. That's just the way it is here in Vegas. Anyways, I'm going to head home. Uh, this gives me a chance to do some stuff. I'm going to watch the national championship game between Alabama and Clemson. Have some dinner, chili dogs, and if I have time, I'm going to watch wrestling. And I think this is my chance to work a little bit on eBay while I'm watching the game. And wrestling. <laughs> so let's uh, be more productive after work than I was at work. So this is the vlog from last week. That you probably, hopefully, you guys watched already. Um, watching uh, wrestling, the Raws over here. Good things in commercials, so I can show you guys. About to list some stuff on eBay. And the best thing of all, my daughter made cookies, chocolate chip and nuts. And it is good. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, it's only in Monday, January seventh, right now, so I can get all this stuff done. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow for Tuesday. And the continue life of Boy Ronnie Bizzle on the, in the midst of CES week here in Vegas. It's brutal. It's tough. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But at least I have delicious cookies to eat. Mmm. Good. Hey, welcome to another day in the life of your boy, Ryan Bizzle. Today is Tuesday, January 8th, 2019, and I am changed and headed out to uh, do the Stations Casino Free Roll Challenge. Once again, if you want to see that challenge, go to my other YouTube channel. I have a link on the description below, and I may have a link somewhere up here, so go check that out. And then, today is the official first day of the hardcore CES week. Yesterday was kind of slow. Today, it's going to be even slower. So, as far as being Mrs. Poker Dealer guy, may not happen too much. I may be there only a couple hours. All depends and see how it goes. So anyways, uh, let's do this. Let's get on with the day. Grinding out yet another day in the life of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Getting to the good, to the bad, to the great. To the not so great that is your boy's life so we're finished with day number three or two of ces week and it was once again slow but i gotta tell you one thing um it actually wasn't as slow as i anticipated we actually were hovering around two or three games all day because of our promotion that we're running and that's so our games were had a lot of locals in it. You know, the games weren't really that bad, but we had games. And during one of my breaks, I actually looked at my um, my spreadsheet of uh, tips that I made. And actually, only this same day last year, I made fifteen dollars. That's right, one five. This year, I'm bringing home fifty dollars in cash, including the term of downs that I dealt. So I probably made a hundred dollars. When you make $100 during CES week, that is a win. That is a huge win. So I'm actually uh, satisfied with the day, with uh, today. I know, I know I've been talking bad about the, how bad it is in CES week for people, how bad CES week is for people to work in service industry. And it is bad, but you know, you have to look at the silver lining of things. There is always good with the bad. And if you focus more on the good rather than the bad, you know, your mindset, you know, thinks of it differently. I guess it's just the um, the juices in your head, you know. It just makes you uh, 
think more positive than negative. But hey, what can you do? It is what it is. This is the life that I chose. This is the job that I have. This is what happens during this time of the year. So one of the good things about being slow at work and coming home early is having dinner with my family, which I did. And then now I'm relaxing. It's like 9.20. Everything's done. I can just chill and watch SmackDown. Maybe watch some basketball. And just go to bed at a normal hour and just enjoy my free time. <laughs> like I said earlier, there is the good with the bad. Anyways, that's going to be it for Tuesday. January 8th is done. Let's get on with Wednesday. Right now. CS yes, Week continues. The life of Ronnie Bizzle continues. Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today is January 9th, 2019 and I'm going to be filming the rest of this vlog from my phone because unfortunately my vlogging camera that I've had for two years, I think it's kaput. It's done. It's broken. It's unfixable. Um, last couple weeks my camera has been giving me a little bit of problems. I'm not sure why but the, the screen right here won't work but it's just to the point where I think it's time for me to buy another camera. Unfortunately I don't have the money to go buy me another camera just yet. So I'm saving all my money for my cruise. Fortunately for me I have this great iPhone X. So I'll be vlogging for the unforeseen future with this. I don't know if the picture quality will be different. I don't know uh, if I'll be staring at the screen too much like this, like that. See, I'm staring at the screen, staring at you, staring at the screen, staring at you. But uh, it's kind of weird because I normally don't vlog from my phone. So it's going to be weird holding this phone as opposed to my vlogging camera for the past two years. So. I don't know how it's gonna be and how it's gonna go, but we'll see. Anyways, today's Wednesday. Gotta go to work, be Mr. Poker Dealer guy, but I think that this morning I'm gonna try some more hours for my station's free roll. And then, uh, hmm, hopefully day three of CES will be kind of the same as yesterday. You know, like I said, yesterday was actually okay. Can't complain. Um, and see how long I'll go. So I remember yesterday I was telling you I was trying to be positive about uh, CES. I made a little bit of money, more more than I expected, and we had like two games. No, 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 not today, boys and girls. We had one game all day. We struggled. We could not get that second game. The tournaments were small. And it just generally was not a good day. The casino was like so empty. I mean, I walked through the pit on the way to the poker room. And I literally, there was like nobody gambling. Nobody walking around the casino, nothing. It's CES. It's the heart of CES. We're in the midst of CES. They're all there. All 100,000, 200,000. I don't know how many player, people are there checking out the new gadgets. None of them were gambling. <laughs> I saw a couple guys from CS come from walking to the casino and they went straight from the doors right to their hotel room. They even stopped to put $5 in a slot machine. I mean, why don't you just put five bucks in a slot machine? Is that gonna kill you guys, you techie nerds? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna head home and uh, again, chill out, relax, and just enjoy this free time that I'm getting that I don't normally get and then hopefully next week we'll be busy again so I'm not used to having all this free time so I think I'm gonna go play a little online poker a little low micro stakes poker a little five cent ten cents no limit cash game 
just to relax and play poker. So that's gonna be it for Wednesday, January 9th, 2019. We'll get it going, we'll get back to the life of your boy Ronnie Bissell tomorrow on Thursday as we continue Ronnie Bizzle's life, the life of Las Vegas local. Hello everybody, welcome to another day in the life of your boy Ronnie Bizzle. It is January 10th, 2019. And today is a good day for your boy for two reasons. First reason is it is my Friday. Uh, I'll be off for the next two days and I got a lot planned the next two days and that will you will see later on in the vlog. Also, today is the last day that your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, Mr. Poker Dealer Guy, has to deal with the dreaded Consumer Electronic Showcase, C-E-S. will be over for me today. Ah, glory. Ah. <laughs> It's been a very, very rough week for your boy. And for anybody in the service industry, it's been tough to deal with. Um, but today it ends. Today I love it. Today I'll have to deal with it for another year. And uh, remind me to take it off next year so I'll have to deal with it. <laughs> so today I'm gonna work. Probably won't be there very long because it's my Friday and it's slow. Then I'm gonna come home. Start my weekend. Um, I'm making a point today to work a little bit on eBay, a lot on eBay. And then tomorrow and Saturday, I got things planned, which I'm not gonna say. I'll let you guys, I'll let the, the day flow and when it when stuff when stuff happens, you'll see it. But today's also another good day because I get to wear this. It's Vegas Golden Knights Jersey Day! Go Knights, go! See what that is, guys? That's my rear view mirror. That's what CES to me now. It's in the rear view mirror. Because another year of CES, working during CES, is done. And I survived. I didn't make any money, but I survived. I made more money than I thought I would, and I survived. <sighs> so glad that it's over for me, that I can hopefully everything go back to normal on Sunday. I, know, I do remember like the week after CES is usually busy. So I'm hoping that's the case. When I come back to work on Sunday, there were times today that I felt like I had to poke my eyes out because we actually had two tables of cash games, but unfortunately it was all locals. And these are all the tight locals. And these were locals that don't play any hands. So I was pushing a lot of $5 pots, $7 pots, $9 pots, $2 pots. It made for a very torturous, torturous downs. But, like I said many times in the world of poker dealing, you take the good with the bad, and the bad with the good. Because the last five days was torture. But not before I got a deal with the Vegas traffic, even with the Project Neon almost completed. It is 535 rush hour time. And yes, the traffic still sucks. Well, I had planned to go out and play poker and try to get some more hours for my, my station's free roll challenge. But I sat on my couch, went on my computer, and then this came on. So this came up. Play a little cash games online, WSOP.com. Just uh, killing some time on my Friday. Times it now. 
753. Yeah, it's such a change. I might go out later on. Who knows? But right now, I'm very comfortable on my couch playing online poker. So check it out. Pretty good news while I was playing. Big sale. I sold six of these uh, cutter knife things. $77. Not bad. I think I made more on that sale than I did today at work dealing poker. <laughs> so I'm all fired about the sales. I gotta go get these items. It's in the box in the garage. I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. I gotta get these knives. Oh, by the way, this is. There's my wife. Can I do the vlog? Alright guys, I'm in my garage. The knives in question are in this box over here. Let's get it. It's in this messy box right over here. Let me get it real quick. <laughs> if I can find it amongst all this mess. There it is. Lot of two, six of them. There's 12 for $77. Yeah! And with that, it's packed and ready for, for delivery. And also with that, we're gonna end Thursday in the life of your boy, Ronnie Bezel. Come back here in a few minutes as we get into Friday, the weekend, the time when your boy, Ronnie Bezel relaxes, has fun with his family. See you then. Welcome to Friday, January 11th, 2019, from the glory that is Las Vegas, Nevada, about 15 miles from the Strip. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today I'm off, winding down what was a terrible week as far as work because of CES, but today is going to be fun because my, my friend from Seattle... Um, is, is in town and I think I'm gonna go play poker with him um, those guys who are new to the vlogs one of the first set of vlogs that I did was I went to uh, Seattle to watch my Atlanta Falcons play the Seattle Seahawks because my buddy from Seattle got tickets so he said you can come to the game with me you just got to get here you can stay with me so I said okay Got a plane ticket, it was like $200. Went up to Seattle and saw the Falcons play. And um, I got a playlist on my uh, channel here. I'm gonna put up somewhere here, the playlist, so you can watch those uh, three vlogs from my trip to Seattle, which was amazing. And then after that, and then tonight's date night with the wife, a uh, little oyster bar action, and then a little bingo action. So it's gonna be a typical, it's gonna be a relaxing day for your boy, but I'm really gonna enjoy more because of just how bad work was because of CES. So let's get going and enjoy this day off. Oh wow, there's what I was talking about there. There's my boy right there. Two years ago, hooked me up with a game in Seattle. That's him right there. Don't leave a stack. <laughs> nice. So, just got out of my session with my friend Mike at a Caesars Palace. I played four hours and I won. I won a total of nine dollars. <laughs> but the conversation that me and Mike had during that session was worth it. Um, he's one of the good guys. That I've known, he's he's a really good friend of mine, and um, any chance I get to hang out with him is a is a really good thing. So, winning the nine dollars was a gift and was well worth it. 
Anyways, uh, I gotta get home because me and the wife could do our date night. I grab dinner for my daughter and her friend. They want Popeyes. So yeah, pretty, pretty enjoyable afternoon. I'm very, very happy that I got to play and uh, spend time with my friend from Seattle. Uh, like I said, um, check out the those vlogs from, uh, two, I think it was two years ago when I went to go, go to Seattle and watch the Falcons against the Seahawks. Um, in the description, it's in, the, it's in my playlist. So check it out. It's date night again for me and my wife here at Santa Fe. Now you may be asking yourself, why do we always go to Santa Fe for date nights? Because we love Santa Fe. And also, we get a lot of coupons. <laughs> That's where we're going. Splashing all over the other way. We're going there. We're going there. We're going there. It's splashing everywhere. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Uh, and an extra plate, right? An extra spoon? Extra spoon. I don't know if the extra plate is enough. Today is January 12th, 2019. Gloomy day here in Vegas, which is all right, I guess. Anyways, today is gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be an exciting day. Not so much in the morning, because we're cleaning. Not so much in the afternoon, because I gotta run some errands, do a little shopping. But what's gonna happen tonight? Uh, tonight, um, the company I work for, I've been working for for almost, uh, working for how long working there? For almost 14 years and occasionally they'll have deals where you can see shows for cheap or for free and tonight we're gonna go see a show for free I got four tickets right here to the Chris Angel show over at Planet Hollywood these are free given to the employees and we're really excited about going so Tonight, we're going to go check out Chris Angel uh, for free. <laughs> In fact, let's get through all the preliminaries and head out to the show and get ready for the show right now. And we made it to Planet Hollywood. This is the show we're going to see. Mind free, I got my buddy Nick, his girlfriend. My wife's here, so let's go. Into Planet Hollywood. First things first, we're gonna have dinner at the burger, Gordon Ramsay's burger, and then we're gonna go see Chris Angel, Mind Freak.
every show. You can stand up when you like something because we love seeing that. We want to feed off that energy. Stand up, rip your damn clothes off. I don't give a shit. Okay? <laughs> Whatever you want to do, except throwing off the balcony. That's not good. But we're going to have a great time. Now, if you see something that sucks, do what you're doing now. Nothing. All right? Now, do we have a deal, Vegas? <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so excited to do this show. It's been a dream all night for 20 years. It's going to be realized tonight. It's going to be a longer show than normal because this is sneak previews. So I hope you're okay with staying a little longer see some more magic. Because I'm going to cut that shit out soon and you're never going to see it. So this is a special show you're going to see. I'm so honored to have you here. And uh, let's get it started. Welcome to my world of mind freak!